I did originally order one of these, but then I changed my mind. Then recently I thought, okay, I'll get one in order to see what all the fuss is about and answer some questions that I couldn't find answers to. So this is my B-Stock Spark 40 modeling amp. It cost me just over $230. Here's the good and the bad for what it's worth. I know YouTube doesn't need another Spark review, but I thought I'd throw my two cents in because I've got the amp and I've got a YouTube channel, so why not? First impressions are good though. It looks good, it's got the right weight to it, making it feel like a solid little amp, and the knobs are quality and they feel good. And it does pack a punch. One question I couldn't find the answer to though was, how do the speakers really sound? It's a small amp, so you would imagine that there's gonna be no bass response, right? Well, there is, and there's plenty of it. It's deep and low, and that's where my first gripe comes in. It is a little bit too bassy and not really tight enough on the low end, and the bass control doesn't help either. Maybe a firmware update in the future will help though. Now, the amp is plenty loud enough for practicing, very loud. Maybe not loud enough to gig with, but the volume is certainly there. Nice high end as well when you crank the treble and mid range. And you get a master volume as well, so you can still use the game presets and get a good sound at lower volumes. Sort of like a digital attenuator, if you like. You can also save four of your favorite presets into the amp and recall them at any time just using the preset buttons. Now, the examples I'll play will be recorded using a mic in front of the amp rather than direct in, as there are plenty of videos demonstrating that. And I'll play a couple of tones direct in, though, just in case you haven't watched any other videos on it. it does seem incredibly unlikely, though. I really wanted to try and capture what I hear from the amp itself, so let's try some of the famous song tones. sounds are really good, nice and chimey, and when you add a little bit of gain, the clean tone will break up a little. Now, I wish it would break up a bit more, to be honest, as the cleans are really, really clean. They don't sound digital either, but they do have a nice tone to them. And that's where the app comes in, and I do understand that people require instant results these days. It's not like having a tube amp and some pedals and dialing it all in to get the right sound, or at least the sound that you love. And the app also connects to a cloud where other Spark users can upload their tones, including tones from famous songs. So it's so easy to dial in the song that you're learning and get that sound instantly. I totally get it. You can demo the tone as well by clicking on it, playing guitar, so uh, make sure that you like it, and then afterwards save it locally to your phone or iPad for instant recall. And I think there are just over 10,000 tones at the moment, but it is growing daily. Now imagine having instant and amazing compression, an instant overdrive or high gain tone with noise gates, reverbs, delays, etc, etc, right there on your phone or iPad. Having said that, I'm not always one for messing about on my phone to get sounds. I do prefer dialing everything in using pedals and the amp settings. And I'm not a big app fan to be honest, but this one 
it is simple to use and it's laid out really nicely. And I spotted some good tones on the app from Tyler Larson from Music Is Win and also a few from Steve Stein as well. for guitar players who just need something quick and easy to practice with. Great for beginners as well, as the right sound will make you play your favourite songs and pick up the guitar more. Imagine Instant Slash, James Hetfield, John Mayer, SRV, RHCP and so on. And that's a good thing. Anything that makes you pick up the guitar and play is always a good thing. And when you get the right tone it's pretty much spot on. You will need to tweak the volume on some of them though, as they can be a bit loud. And of course you can tweak all the parameters of the amps and pedals etc. Couple that with the backing track feature where the amp will listen to you playing chords and create a backing track to play over. And as I said, for a certain type of guitar player, it's an instant win. Now, it's a lot of fun to play with and it's pretty simple to use and a pretty decent sound. I've heard people say that it's a room filling sound and it really is and it all stems from the reverb. It's almost a 3D reverb sound, very unique but difficult to hear on this video unfortunately. But it does make you turn your head to see where that sound's coming from. It's pretty amazing and it also has plenty of other effects and of course the link to your computer thrown in via USB that allows it to be used as an audio interface and it has the ability to be used as a Bluetooth speaker. It really does seem to have it all. It will suit a beginner or someone who just wants to have fun playing the guitar. Just not sure it's for me yet though. But having said that, it did make me pick up my guitar and play more, especially the high gain stuff. It aids control when using really distorted tones. Maybe I'll give it a few months and see if I still use it. And of course, being the latest thing, I'm sure there will be firmware updates to improve it as it progresses. So cheers. <laughs>